Jason Sarp Ricks coming at you today with a review of the Bucca. This is a 114 Lamborghini Scion. Scion? Am I saying that right? I don't know cars very well. And this is set 33012. It is 1100 plus pieces. This set was generously sent to us by the folks at GP Toys slash Educero. This is a 114 Technic car. So there are kind of two different styles of cars. There is the Speed Champions car, which is more of a brick built kind of Lego-ish thing, maybe with a Technic frame, but mostly like Lego bricks. And then there's the Technic cars, which are mostly Technic, frames with maybe a little bit of Lego bricks. So it's kind of a difference in style there. I'm not huge into the building cars thing, but I have built a couple of the Speed Champions and now I've built my first Technic car. Awesome. Let's get in. Thank you to the people at GP Toys slash Zero for sending this in for a review. Full disclosure, I did receive this set for free. However, you guys know that does not color my review of the set. If I don't like the set, you're definitely going to hear about it. So without further ado, let's take a dive into this thing. All right, so this packaging is the box, which is pretty cool. These kind of look more like a, a model car that you would buy for, for younger generations who probably don't know. And now the only place I see these things is at like hobby shops. We used to have plastic models that you had to glue together. And this kind of looks like that. Oh, I'm knocking stuff off. These are sealed when you get them. I obviously cut this one open. Uh, they kind of stuffed the instructions in there, so that's not great. This is, is kind of hard to open these now, and they're kind of wrinkled. And we've got the sticker sheets. Thankfully, those are in a plastic baggie, but they're still a little wrinkled here because they just kind of jammed them in there. And then we've got a bunch of bags in here. These are uh, kind of folded around each other. Oh. See if we can get them out. All right, so they've actually got one big bag holding all these smaller bags. You can see all the bags are numbered there, so you can follow the steps along. So that's kind of cool. Just wish the instructions hadn't been mangled in there. All right, and that's what it looks like without the stickers. Cool stuff. And now you have a choice of two different color schemes. We've got the shiny chrome and purple, and we've got the flat gray, green, and orange. I'm gonna go with the shiny chrome and purple because it looks cool, but you could choose this color or that color. And there it is assembled in all its glory. The 114 Lambo Scion or however you pronounce that. All right, so let's take a look at some of the features here. So the wheels, oh, look at that. You get the back and forth there. But the really cool thing is the steering wheel in here. Let's do this first. So these doors kind of go up like a Lamborghini, right? Let me knock the dashboard off. So the doors kind of go straight up. You see there's a steering wheel in here. So you'll notice the tires turn when the steering wheel turns. That's pretty cool. Now there is a, a space in the back here. Uh, you can see those gears turn when you move the car back and forth. There is an add-on you can buy for this. It's a motor set. So you can make this car motorized, but I do not have that. There you go, a view from the top. Now this, <laughs> I will say, if you don't like stickers, this set has a lot, a lot of stickers. And this is only half because there's a complete other set of stickers if you want a different color pattern. This is the cool chrome purple one, so I kind of like that. I like purple and I like chrome, so we put those on. It's shiny and pretty looking. But everything, all the color is a sticker. The actual set is all black, and anything colored is a sticker. So that's just... A lot of stickers. It actually took me just as long to put the stickers on as it did to build the actual set. 
I was not anticipating that. It took much longer than I thought just putting stickers on. There's so, so many of them. And you have to be careful when putting them on. You don't want bubbles. You don't want it to look terrible. But look at the, oh, uh, see the rainbow effect on these? That's why I chose these. That's so cool. I like that. That's really neat. Here's the side view again. Stickers on each side. Just a crazy, crazy amount of stickers. See the front there. Now it is all black. It's a little hard to make out details. You can see the rear. These obviously are the tail lights into the little license plate. And then the other side of the car. And then if we flip it over, you can see on the bottom, all the Technics pieces on there. You see the space for the motor in there. Pretty cool. It is, I mean, if you're wondering if it's a sturdy set, <laughs> it's a very sturdy set. You can tell I'm just randomly picking it up by the top, but it's on there good. This set is, is well, well planned out. Nothing is falling off of there. I haven't had any random pieces fall off or anything like that. It's, you know, you can just pick it up and move it around. It's pretty sturdy. That's pretty cool. And if I open the door out of the way again, you see there's a steering wheel in there. You can see the seats are actually in there. Those seats are pretty detailed. It's actually kind of cool. All right, GP Toys has this for sale on their website for 26 US dollars plus shipping. It's also available on Amazon, but I don't see the price on there because it's currently sold out. But when it comes back on Amazon, I'll put that in the description. I'll have both links in the description below. So final thoughts, $26 for an 1100 piece car set. Well, that's a pretty good price. You're not going to find a set from the big L 1100 pieces for $26. That's for sure. Lamborghini sign. If you like sports cars, roomies. Racers, yeah, yeah, that's a great price for that. Oh, that's a cool car. Like I said, I don't really build a lot of these, but it was kind of fun because it's something that I've never built before. So it was an interesting and new experience. I do have one more different Lamborghini though. This one I think is a race car. This is kind of the rich person's toy car. The other one I think is like the race car, like some sort of Euro race car. I don't know, because I don't know anything about cars, but I'm pretty sure the other one's some kind of race car. I think that's what I read. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Baca is new on the scene. GP Toys is not new on the scene. They've been around for quite a while, based in New York. Started out making RC cars, and now they've expanded into the brick-built world. So we got one more of these to build, too, and I'll bring a review of that shortly. That's a good price. Kind of a cool set. I don't really have anything to compare it to, so if you're huge into these cars, you might have a different opinion. And if you've built this one or you've built others like it, leave a comment below and let me know how it went and what you think of this car. I just like the way it looks. I think it's kind of cool. 26 bucks, can't really go wrong for 1100 pieces. I mean, especially because even if you don't like cars, look at the amount of Technic pieces that you now have. You can take it apart and do something else with it if you wanted to. And that's pretty awesome too. That's all I got for you for this one, guys. Once again, my name is Jay. This is Civet Star Bricks. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe if you don't mind. As of this video, guys, September, what the heck day is it, third? As of this video, September 3rd, 2024, Civet Star Bricks now has 2,000 subscribers. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Those of you who watch and are not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. It would help us out. Leave a comment down below. That helps us out too. Thanks for being there, guys. 2,000 subs. We'll be here for at least another 2,000 more. My name is Jay, and I'll see you later.